Let me start uh, with the macroeconomic picture, which is in place right now in Ukraine. We, as you are well aware, faced a tremendous challenges after the Russian-led aggression, after the illegal annexation of Crimea, and after Russia waged the war against Ukraine and sent its proxies to Donetsk and Lugansk. Ukraine lost practically 20% of its economy, and we temporarily lost the territory of Donetsk, Lugansk, and Crimea. Let me once again reiterate, temporarily lost. And we strongly believe that with your strong support and with the strong support of the free world, Ukraine will regain its independence and its uh, territorial integrity and restore its uh, territorial integrity in the forthcoming future. In terms of the macroeconomic stability, so there are first signs of macroeconomic stabilization. The um, a modest GDP growth, uh, we capped inflation, we stabilized the exchange uh, rate. And uh, the IMF program, the World Bank program, and the macrofinancial support of the European Union was of huge value for the Ukrainian people. All these first signs of macroeconomic stability are clear evidence that we are on the right path. Uh, so it's of crucial importance for the Ukrainian people uh, to get visa-free regime. Let me remind you that Ukraine passed more than 144 different types of regulations and uh, uh, resolutions and bills in the parliament in order to meet the criteria set by the European Union for providing a visa-free regime. And Mr. Chairman and distinguished members of the parliament, we truly commend your support and the decision of your committee to grant to the Ukrainian people a visa-free regime. And we expect that the executive in uh, the forthcoming future will fix the problem of this so-called suspension mechanism. This would be a strong and clear signal to the Ukrainian people that the EU is on our side and uh, Ukrainian government and Ukrainian executive delivered what we have promised. And we strongly consider and we strongly believe that the European Union will do its job. I will uh, be ready to answer any questions uh, you have, but uh, once again, the key issue for the Ukrainian people right now is to get visa-free regime. This is not just the sign, this is not just the words, this is a clear action that is needed. And uh, we ask our European friends and our European partners to accomplish the procedure of the ratification of the deep and comprehensive free trade area with uh, the European Union. So the European Parliament, and once again, uh, let me praise uh, uh, the members of the European Parliament already ratified the deal. So we expect that national parliaments will accomplish this and uh, the deal will be enacted. Uh, and uh, this is the win-win situation both for the European Union and for the Ukrainian people and for my country.